to you Aries welcome to my channel I butterfly tarot and this is I the butterfly and I'm coming at you to give you this love oracle reading for July 2020 if you're new to my channel and you like the content on my channel like comment share and subscribe to your girl I want you to subscribe and hit that notification button and if you are returning I truly love and appreciate you all for uh, subscribing to me and returning to my channel to give me love, likes, and views. I truly appreciate you all. Um, this is going to be a love reading and I'm using the Rumi Oracle deck. Okay. <clears throat> so this is going to be centered around the person that you were thinking about and the message that they would like to send to you through poetry and through these loving divine cards of wisdom and light. So we have divine connected, or I said, <laughs> sorry, divine con discontent, all right, divine discontent, sorry, and free spirit, wow. So I have my uh, cosmic green cards here, I have power of love here, I have my spirit oracle deck here, I have my moon oracle deck here, and I may pull some tarot cards as we go along to further, um, give you a narrative of what this person feels for you. So, divine discontent. Winter falls upon us so spring can bring new growth. Cry the tears. Allow the longing. Sadness brings surrender and a deep desire to be free. Hmm. It says, I know your heart. I hear it's breaking and groaning in the darkness, the darkest night when you imagine yourself to be silently cast adrift in sleep. It speaks to me, that sacred heart of yours whispering and longing and bemoaning its divine discontent. I know when something is amiss, it senses that something is not quite right as yet. There is a piece of a puzzle missing. Even in this tremendous gratitude for all that is, and there is much gratitude and sweet appreciation in that, pr uh, that precious heart of yours, there is a murmuring, a questing. It cries out to the heavens, vouchsafe me a blessing. I cannot go on. I am broken and in need of your tenderness for healing. I am empty and in need of filling, not with stuff and bits, but with most the most precious nectar of the divine fulfillment. Nothing else will satisfy me. Please, please restore me to wholeness. I can bear this, I can bear this missing piece, this broken disarray no longer. I listen and I cordial that wise heart of yours. I praise it for its honesty and longing. For the longing it is, a, is an irresistible perfume to the beloved, acting the only self as attracting, attracting the only self that will soothe the divine discontent and your truth seeking heart, that of the divine presence, absolute and unquestionable. So, just from this card alone, you are in separation from this person and they are longing for you. Okay? Free spirit. Okay, we have free spirit.
True freedom is attained when one transcends the illusion imprisonment of their mind. Hmm. So with those two cards together, it's telling me that this person is longing and they are missing you. But they know that even though you are not in their physical presence, you are still with them spiritually. And it's all upon them to accept what is when it comes to your union. So this is telling me that you are in separation from this person that you love, that you're thinking about, okay? And this is their message to you, that they are longing for you, but they understand that it is only illusion. Though you may be physically apart, you are still connected at the soul tie of the heart, okay? Humility. You have developed a, the a loving awareness that you are, you and everyone else are the same, but on a different path. So you guys may be on your own spiritual journey. And when we say same, we're talking about maybe that, you know, I always talk about soulmate and soul connections, things like that. Um, but it says humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. So you guys might be on your own spiritual journey right now. And this may have like a twinge of a twin flame type thing going on. When you're missing each other, you are not in each other's presence, but you are, are present in uh, spirit. And you're just both on two different paths right now. People get it twisted. When they think about twin flames, they think it's supposed to be the lovey-dovey feeling. Though that may be so to a certain uh, extent. It's also saying that um, the, the point of a twin, so, uh, twin flame is to raise the vibration of the planet. To have unconditional love. To grow yourself spiritually. You know, mentally and spiritually. Um to become the best version of you possible. So we have past. Through the power of love, you release the stagnant situations or energies in order to transform your heart space. That's it, any stagnant situations or energies. So that's what it's talking about, that you are on your own journey. What I was going to say concerning a twin flame connection, if this is a twin flame connection, is saying that you will not come into union with this person until you do your own work, okay? Until you do your own work, until you grow yourself spiritually, until you get the lessons. Once you realize that and you come into full self-love and also unconditional love, that is when you will come together, okay? Tolerance. You appreciate others' points of views because your sense of love is everywhere and that is a part of unconditional love that we have developed ourselves to a point where we are able to um, deal with people you know deal with not just your twin but just deal with people in general and understand them better and not to take such a sharp approach with them because, you know, after going through this soul journey, we come out better at all in the end. Oh, you got 12 and 13. That's, that's crazy. So, where are some additional messages? Right there, flame of love. Uh, 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 uh. Allow the infinite power of love within you to radiate unconditionally in all directions. You stand tall in your sense of self and in your own truth. The healing power of love will help you burn away those, th uh, burn away 
sorry, the healing power of love will help you burn through all illusions. You got that twice. And you will discover new possibilities. This is a powerful time of transform, uh, transformation, ideas, and creativity. It's called the flame of love. I told you, like, if you're on a twin flame journey, that's what it's about. Now you got these other cards that are saying the same thing, these messages. So you are in separation from this person because you both are on your own spiritual journey right now. You're taking your own path. And unfortunately, fortunately, this is for you to become your best version of yourself, okay? So don't get so caught up into the disconnect that's between the two of you. It is there for a reason because the whole point is to make you a better person. And though it may hurt, you're going to come when you come back into union, you will turn out you will turn out better all in the end. Okay. Like you'll become your best version. And you know, once you do your healing, and if this person knows who they are and who you are in their life, and they do their healing. And you guys come into union, <clears throat> that will be powerful and beautiful, okay? Sacred knowledge. <clears throat> Sorry. Ancient and sacred knowledge is awaiting within the heart of the earth, yearning to be discovered. Crystals hold the key. Connect energetically with the earth and her crystal realm. Healing love and abundant results. So it may be that you have to get back to nature, tap back into nature, but crystals are alive, okay? They have energy. They help us um, to, let me see. I'm just going to pull this one. Renew, switch off the mind. A short holiday would be a world of good at this time. A change, in, a change in scenery results in renewed clarity and a sense of purpose. So, yeah, people don't understand. When we're talking about twin flame connection, you are, I'm just saying soulmate, but I'm saying twin flame. I'm going to focus on twin flame. When you're talking about twin flame connection, <clears throat> though your mind is forcing you to think about this person, the universe does not want you to do that. <clears throat> the universe wanted you to experience that so that you may take that energy and grow yourself, okay? And so when you start taking your energy and your thoughts off of that person and the fact that you're not in union and blah, 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 then you start focusing on yourself. And that is the whole point of this whole journey for you to come into like a surrendering so that you will like i said become your best version of yourself but also become that divine masculine or feminine that will draw your twin in and then when you come into union it will it will be prosperous I don't know why people think that twin twin friends are like this perfect perfect relationship. It's not. It's like that I fight myself against myself. You know, if you do your research, you're dealing with different aspects of yourself through that person. And that's why you have to learn unconditional love. No, if it's an abusive situation, obviously that person's not your twin. But if it's something that is a soul tie that seems it can't be broken, then yeah. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. One more. It seems to me that you guys are close to coming into union. But you're just still some work that needs to be done. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's upon you. It's on its way. I like using moonology cards because they help when it comes to reference of time. It says, what do you need to release? Waning moon. So there are still some things. There's, like I said, there's still some work that you need to do. But um, you guys are well on your way 
to coming into divine connection with your counterpart, your twin flame. A uh, soulmate is not the same as a twin flame. I know sometimes, you know, I say soulmate, this, the, you know, soulmate and twin flame are two different things. You can have many soulmates throughout your lifetime. But a twin flame is literally your own soul reincarnated. And you guys made a, um, your soul split, both divine masculine and feminine. And you guys made an agreement in previous lives that you will meet up in this life so that you can serve a purpose within humanity. And that purpose is to bring about love and healing for the planet, but also to come into soul completion so that you will become the best versions of yourself possible. Like I said, this is not something that is just going to come back easily. Uh, you got to do the work in order for it to be achieved, okay? Alright, just any more messages from my dear Aries. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. Yeah, so it's like, this is, has got you both exhausted, okay? Like, you gotta take time out. Like I said, take the focus off of this person and put it on yourself. Because you don't understand that when you put the focus on yourself, you're actually putting the focus on your twin. Because you're taking care of yourself, that means you're taking care of your twin. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because your twin is your reflection, your mirror image, alright? The ever unfolding rose, crack open, is happening for you, not to you. Alright? So, it's happening for you, not to you. That's, that's that disconnect that you have to do. It's the truth, man. It's the truth. I want one more. I just want more. leap you go first the universe will catch you all right don't be afraid about the decisions that you guys are making the, the direction you're going into this is all going to work its way out but you have to be patient and you have to put the focus on yourself don't put the focus on that person that you consider to be your twin put the focus on yourself so that you could go through your own self-growth and development once you go through that self-growth and development you have to understand the dynamics of a twin. Sometimes that other person is not ready for union. There's still work that they need to do. And when it's like that, that means that you have to fall back and continue working on you. And they, if they know who they are and they know who you are within a connection, that's even better. So that means that they know that this relationship, the two of you will not work out until they do the soul work for themselves in order to tackle all those pains that are triggered that you trigger each other with you know you trigger things in them they trigger things in you you have to overcome those things those low points in order to come into divine union so thank you my dear aries for just sitting and tuning in for this roomy oracle love reading this twin as a twin flame soul soulmate reading I would say more so twin flame and know that there's still work to be done but the universe is on your side you just have to focus on you and take the energy and the focus off of that person I know you miss each other but it's okay you're still connected in spirit you're still connected you know telepathy and all of those stuff but this is telling me that you still have work to do on yourself before you guys can come into union. So I hope this gives you some clarity and some ease for your situation. My dear Aries, thank you for joining me. As always, thank you for, for coming to my channel. And peace, love, and light to you all, okay? I truly appreciate you. Peace and so much love. Thank you and come join me again. Bye-bye.